Good evening, I'm Shogun Mohammed, and you're watching the 11 o'clock news. The Cabinet Affairs Minister Mohammed bin Ibrahim Limpawa held a meeting yesterday with the Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations, Amin Mohammed, in New York on the sidelines of the preparations of Bahrain to participate in the United Nations Economic and Social Council's high level political forum on sustainable development. Al-Mtawa affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to expand fields of cooperation with the UN, its agencies and its specialized programs. He also hailed the cooperation between both sides, which reflects the importance of consolidating international cooperation to achieve sustainable development goals, world peace and stability. He reviewed the Kingdom's preparations to present its first voluntary national report to implement the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. He hailed the cooperation of the UN and its technical support in preparing the reports. For her part, the UN's Deputy Secretary General hailed the cooperation between Bahrain and the UN and Bahrain's commitment to support the efforts and initiatives of the UN in various fields. She affirmed that Bahrain's presentation of its report reflects its keenness on sharing with the world its successful experiences to support the UN's efforts of achieving the goals of sustainable development. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, was at the airport to welcome the Minister of External Affairs of India, Sushma Swaraj, upon her arrival to the Kingdom today on an official visit. Minister Swaraj will meet with senior Bahraini officials and participate in the second India Bahrain High Joint Commission meeting, which will be held tomorrow. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmad bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, attended today the inauguration ceremony of the new premises of the Indian Embassy in Bahrain. The premises was inaugurated by the Indian Minister of External Affairs, Sushma Swaraj, in the presence of the Minister of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, Islam Khalaf. The Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed that the inauguration of the new Indian Embassy complex in Manama reflects the depth of the friendly relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of India, noting both countries' constant progression and keenness to expand these relations and enhance cooperation and joint work in order to benefit both countries and peoples. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also expressed sincere congratulations to Sushma Swaraj and the Indian diplomats and community in the Kingdom of Bahrain for the inauguration of the new embassy complex in Manoma, wishing the Republic of India further progress and prosperity. For her part, Swaraj expressed her pleasure to be present in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the inauguration of the new Indian embassy complex, which reflects the historical and cultural ties between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of India stressing that this step will contribute to strengthening relations between the two friendly countries and peoples. The Indian ambassador Alok Kumar Sinha expressed his thanks and appreciation for the efforts made that resulted in the inauguration of the new embassy complex, stressing the strength of the bilateral relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of India in various fields. The inauguration of the new Indian Embassy complex, built on 7,598 square meters of land, bought by the Indian government in 2005, comprised of two buildings, the main two-floor custom-built Chancery building and a four-story residential building, aims to further strengthen the already existing strong cultural exchanges and people-to-people -people contacts between the two friendly countries and an embodiment of historical civilizational connects and the culmination of the aspirations of growing Indian expatriate community in Bahrain. We're so honored to have Her Excellency Sushma Swaraj, the External Affairs Minister, visit us for the third time to Bahrain since she assumed her post. And this is an honor for us and it's a testament that the relations between Bahrain and India are at a very, very high level and it's going upper and upper again. To celebrate such understanding and cultural affinity, a cultural program has been created to interpret this friendly relationship through the eyes of Bahrainis and Indians. In the journey of our diplomatic relations with Bahrain, the opening of the new embassy, which would meet the requirements of increasing requirement of our expanding bilateral relations in all spheres, as well as the presence of a large Indian community, most more effectively. It is a very important moment in our diplomatic journey, in our diplomatic relations uh, with Bahrain. Bahraini-Indian bilateral political, economic and cultural relations go back generations. Bilateral trade and commercial exchanges go back to about 5,000 years ago, tracing their origins to the period of Dilmun civilization in Bahrain, to the era of Indus Valley civilization in India. 
Now India has the largest expat community in Bahrain, forming nearly one-fourth of Bahrain's population and its fifth largest trading partner. Certainly a glorious past and a dynamic present. Today shows nothing but a glimpse of the deep-rooted, historic and strong relations between Bahrain and India on all levels. Reporting from Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffour. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, attended a reception held by the Embassy of France to Bahrain marking Bastille Day. The Foreign Minister offered sincere congratulations to the, to the Republic of France and its friendly people and expressed the Kingdom's pride in the distinguished historical relations with France and its developments at all levels. He also underlined Bahrain's keen desire to boost aspects of joint cooperation for the interests of the two countries and their friendly peoples, wishing France continued progress and prosperity.